Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net, looking at the Bezier Curves tool, a new feature in Autodesk Maya 2011. A lot of people prefer working with Bezier Curves rather than the NURBS Curves that Maya has supported up until now. One reason is because Bezier Curves work exactly the same way that the Pen tool works in other applications such as Adobe Illustrator, for example and similarly Adobe Photoshop. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the two types of control vertices, anchors and tangents. We're going to see how to click to create an anchor and drag to create tangents. We're going to look at creating bezier control points and corner control points, two different types of control points. We're going to see how to change the control point type after you've created a control point. Then we'll look at Bezier corner control points. This is a type of control point with broken tangents. And this is a good thing. We're going to look at how to close a Bezier curve. We'll see how to add and delete points on an existing curve. And then we'll talk a little bit about using Bezier curves. And the example we'll use here is creating a loft. So going back to the help file for a moment, let's just get the terminology straight. There are two kinds of control vertices, anchors and tangents. So this is the tangent, and then there's an anchor point right there. So going into Maya, and going to the Curves shelf here, the last icon on the shelf is the Bezier Curve tool. Click on that. Now each time you click, you create an anchor. And each time you drag, you create tangents. So I click and I drag. I've created one anchor and one pair of tangents. Go here, click, and drag. And you can move the tangents to shape the curve. If I just click, I just create an anchor, no tangents. Click again, no drag click again. This type of an anchor is a corner anchor. It has no tangents and so it just makes a sharp corner. An anchor with tangents is a bezier anchor. It has the tangents and therefore you can adjust the curvature in the vicinity of that anchor. By default both sides of the tangent move together. It's possible to change the type of anchor. To do that, with the anchor selected, hold down the shift key and right click and what they call a marking menu comes up. It's got three options, Bezier Corner, Bezier and Corner. So I'll make this Corner and it does away with the tangents completely. Again, I'm holding down the shift key, I right click, I choose Bezier and the tangent comes back. Hold down the shift, right click, Bezier corner. It still has the tangents, but they're arranged to make it into a corner. The advantage of that is then you could work with one of those tangents and change that curve. When you create that Bezier corner curve, the tangents are broken. That is, they're separated from each other and you can manipulate them entirely separately. One thing that works a little bit differently in Maya than in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator is closing a Bezier curve. So this is the last anchor on this curve. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to come over here and click the first anchor in the curve. Nothing happens. In Photoshop or Illustrator that would have closed the curve. In Maya to close a curve when you're in the Bezier tool you can select that last anchor then hold down control and shift and get right over that first anchor and then click and it closes the curve. If you have an existing Bezier curve and you want to add or subtract points just select the Bezier curve tool and to add a point just get right over the curve and click and you'll add a point. To delete a point just select the point left mouse click and hit the delete key and you delete the point. That's all there is to that. When it comes to using a Bezier curve 
you'll very seldom use one by itself. They don't render. If you try to render a Bezier curve, it just comes up black. Very often you'll use the curve to create a surface. So for example, if I create a circle here, hold down the shift key to select both of these, go to surfaces and loft. Now let me try to render that. So you can see that does render. So that's the usual thing with a Bezier curve, that you're using it in some other connection, not just by itself. And that wraps up this tutorial on the new Bezier curve capability in Maya 2011.